Hello, welcome to the barn, or should I say, welcome to the river, because I don't have to be in the barn today to be able to show you what I would like for you to see. My name is Joanne Knight, and we're going to talk about Border Corner today. One of the things that I like most about version 7 is that I can set up a border corner while I'm in standalone mode, and that's what we're going to utilize to be able to show you something that I think is really important in Border Corner and a huge added change as far as I'm concerned. I have added several patterns to my project. I'm going to select the pattern, and this is the repeat, and you can see that the height of this pattern is 1.96 inches. I'm going to choose a totally different pattern. The height of that pattern is 5 inches. The height of this pattern pumpkin is 4.8 inches. Let's pick one more. This one is 5.9 inches. All of these pattern repeats have a totally different height and they're all different sizes. In earlier versions of Creative Studio, this would matter. You would need to go into Creative Studio and set the height of your pattern repeat before you ever did a border corner. In version 7, that's not necessary because Creative Studio is going to adjust these patterns according to the boundary that I click out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to shrink my Project Explorer. Always select your corner first and then your repeat. I have my grid set to 4 inches and I'm going to left click on the border corner icon. Just to make it easy, I'm going to set my grid snap, and I'm going to follow what the prompts say on the screen in the lower left prompt box and in the border corner setup box, and I'm going to click out an upper border corner. Now I'm going to click out the inner border corner. the same way that I would do if I were working on a stitcher. Creative Studio is then going to allow me to put in whatever the length of my border is, and if there is enough room on either side, it will place at least one repeat. This is the part that I like very much. This border corner setup box is still open. If I am not happy with the pattern that I have chosen to go in this setup, I can select a different pattern, hold down my control key, and place that pattern. Select a different pattern, hold down my control key, and place that pattern. We'll do it again on this one, and on this one. I can even choose to go back to my pattern setup type in a word or search for an entirely different pattern, choose a new corner and a new repeat, and Creative Studio will put that one in there. As long as I have this setup box, it will keep honoring my next choices and put them in there the way that I intended them to be. This is a really big advantage to Border Corner in version 7 to me because we were not able to do that before. So once again, version 7 proves to be a big time saver when it comes to quilting my quilts. You can still say OK and you can delete these boundaries if you choose and click out boundaries that are more accurate according to how your quilt is. Just another advantage to Creative Studio version 7. Thank you.